increase your productivity with Raynan's Pipette Light Adjustable Spacer, the world's only manual multi-channel pipette with adjustable spacing. With this pipette, a simple twist of the dial is all that's required to change the channel spacing. The convenient millimeter scale and guide assure fast format changes that are accurate and repeatable. Its smooth variable spacing lets you quickly move samples between different formats. For example, from micro centrifuge tubes to 96 well plates, or between 96 well plates and 24 well plates. The adjustable spacer is also available as an electronic pipette. Precision, accuracy, and ergonomic design, Raynan's family of adjustable spacers will simplify and streamline your application workflow. For a more comprehensive solution to pipette calibration management, look no further than Raynan's Pipette Lite XLS. It's the world's first pipette equipped with RFID technology, and with Raynan's RFID reader and LabX Direct Pipette Scan software, you have everything you need to transform how your lab manages pipette calibration and compliance. Here's how. Instantly view calibration and workflow data for any XLS pipette by scanning it with the RFID reader. With 12 customizable fields, LabX complements your workflow by tracking compliance and reporting attributes that are most important to you. To update the pipette's RFID tag, simply place it back on the RFID reader and click right within the LabX application. Export your LabX pipette data to Microsoft Word and Excel, or save it as a text file to integrate it with a third-party asset management or calibration management program. Precision, accuracy, innovation. Raynan's new Pipette Lite XLS with RFID has it all. The Liquidator 96 is a compact manual benchtop pipetter. It's fast. Now you can manually pipette 96 wells at once. Easy with the simplicity of a manual pipette. Accurate with consistent delivery and high throughput. Convenient. No programming, no electricity, no complicated robots. For a wide range of applications, the Liquidator 96 Manual Bench Top Pipetter. With its new Pipette Lite XLS family of precision pipettes, Raynan again raises the bar on pipetting innovation and superior reproducible performance. Its reshaped body, contoured finger hook and lighter springs give hours of ergonomic comfort. The enhanced lock mechanism engages easily and assures accurate volume delivery from first aliquot to the last. An embedded RFID tag enables advanced calibration and workflow management. Single channel, multi channel, and adjustable spacer, Raynan's Pipette Lite XLS offers precise ergonomic performance for any pipetting application. At CCDB, the starting samples for DNA extraction come from different sources such as insect legs, ethanol fixed tissue, dried plant or fungal tissue. Typically the CCDB processes 20 to 40 plates per day. Here is a demonstration of DNA extraction from animal samples on the robotic platform. In the case of robotic DNA extraction, Liquidator 96 is used in setting up a starting sample plate before moving to the robotic platform. Samples are incubated overnight in the presence of lysis buffer and protonase K at 56 degrees Celsius. In cases where amount of tissue exceeds our standard, 
extra volume of lysis buffer is added to sample using Liquidator 96. Transfer 50 microliters of lysate into a clean cyclomat plate for robotic DNA extraction. These plates are placed on the robotic handler where it will be fed into the station for further processing. In the case of plant extraction, here is a demonstration of DNA extraction from plant samples. This is a plate containing plant lysate, which was incubated for one hour and 65 degrees in setup buffer. Here is a plate containing 150 microliters of plant binding buffer, plate with plant lysate that was just spun on the centrifuge, and glass fiber plate containing one micron glass membrane which will bind DNA during DNA extraction. Liquidator 96 lid is sterile and hence can be used as a reservoir for various applications. Here's a plate containing two bracts which has plant extract in lysis buffer. 50 microliters of lysate is transferred from 96 well two brac to a plate containing 100 microliters of binding buffer. Adjust the volume on liquidator to 150 microliters. And as you see, the liquidator offers great flexibility to volume adjustments in the middle of sample processing steps. At this point, transfer 150 microliter sample into the 96 well DNA extraction plate containing membrane on the bottom. Please do not touch off. After carefully dispensing the sample, the extraction plate is sealed and spun on a centrifuge at 5,000 Gs for five minutes to bind DNA to a glass fiber membrane. DNA binding is followed by two wash steps. Place the glass fiber membrane plate on a fresh support plate to collect the wash buffer. Dispense 180 microliters of wash buffer from above without touching the membrane to avoid any damage. In addition to Liquidator 96, you can also use multi-channel pipette for various liquid handling steps. Take the binding plate out of the centrifuge, place this on a fresh plate, and remove the seal before transferring to the dryer. The sample plate is incubated in a dryer at 56 degrees Celsius for one hour. Finally, add 40 to 50 microliters of warm water and spin the plate at 5,000 Gs to elute pure DNA from the membrane. Here is a plate containing pure DNA. Once the DNA is extracted, we proceed to the DNA amplification step using PCR. Okay, this is pre-made frozen PCR plate, which contains everything, primers, stock polymerase, uh, DNTPs, and all components required for polymerase chain reaction. Now we have DNA extracted from a fiberglass membrane into a collection plate, which is used for PCR setup. In order to set up a PCR plate, two microliters of extracted DNA sample is added using Liquidator 96 to the pre-made PCR plate containing master mix. Plate is sealed and spun in the centrifuge. After centrifugation, PCR plate is further sealed using heat sealer to prevent any evaporation during PCR run. The plate is spun again at 1000 Gs for one minute and placed in the thermocycler for DNA amplification. This concludes the PCR step. One of the analysis methods used in the lab is cycle sequencing. This is performed in order to obtain a nucleotide sequence of the barcode region. This is pre-made sequencing plate containing big the 
germinator sequencing mix and everything required for cycle sequencing reaction. Prior to cycle sequencing, PCR products are diluted threefold with water using Liquidator 96. Use clean tips to add sample into cycle sequencing the PCR plate containing dye terminator. In order to set up the cycle sequencing plates, two microliters of diluted PCR product is added to two pre-made sequencing plates, each containing different primer. After adding the sample, lift the head slightly and then do the blowout, which allows liquid dispense above the plate by expelling full blowout volume. Finally, do the touch off and release the handle slowly. Seal the plate, then centrifuge. At this stage, the plate goes into the PCR machine for amplification. This is a high success plate, which processes 90 samples and goes straight into the sequencing reaction. This concludes cycle sequencing PCR setup. Cycle sequencing PCR reaction product needs to go through dye terminator removal process before loading the sample onto a sequencer. Use 0.1 millimolar EDTA solution to collect sequencing reaction after purification. Fill collection plate with 25 microliters of dilute EDTA. For purification process, use Cephidex plate. Cephidex plates are spun in a centrifuge, and excessive water collects in the collection plate upon centrifugation. Transfer entire volume of sequencing reaction product to a filter plate pre-packed with Cephidex G50 resin without touching the sides. No blowout is required. Plates are spun at 750 Gs for three minutes. Clean sample is collected into a plate containing 25 microliters of diluted EDTA. This is one of the final stages of acquisition DNA barcodes. The plate is sealed with SEPTA and assembled into a sequence assembly plate. The plate is then loaded into the sequencer. The sequencing sample plate is then transferred to the sequencer for further analysis of DNA barcode. The entire process is entered into the laboratory information system for proper sample tracking.